Hi, my name is Pinky and welcome to my YouTube channel. My channel is about how to's and great finds. So I hope you will join me for this video and future videos. And if you want to see future videos, you might want to hit subscribe and also hit the bell for notifications so that you will be alerted to a Pinky video, okay? Also, um, if you just like the video, you don't feel like you wanna hang out, that's cool, just hit like. And if you like it so much, why don't you share it? Right? Okay, thank you, appreciate it. So anyway, um, what did I make today? <laughs> um, oh, my niece asked me to bling up a mirror for her. She has two mirrors. They're small, not the, you know, the big kind, small mirrors, but she wants them blinged up. So I said, hey, no problem, Easy Pooh. I can do that for you. Um, problem with that is when you're doing stuff for other people, you just like, oh. you want it to be right and it's so hard to figure out what to do and hope they like it and all that, so. This is gonna be a challenge because I'm doing it for someone else. When I do it for myself, it's like bling, 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 done, thank you. But this time it's different because it's for someone I love and I want her to be pretty happy with it. So we'll see, we're gonna get started and hope you like it. I hope she likes it. I'm gonna do as much bling as I can without going crazy. You know, I have a problem with that. So here we go. We are going to bling up a mirror. Here's the mirror that I'm going to bling out. I first had to look around and see what options I have in the way of bling. Normally I would probably put some board behind it, some type of board back here so that I can bling it on the sides because it's um, a smaller mirror but it doesn't have anything on the back. So there's like no way I can hang it up. So you're gonna have to hang it up with the little clips that go on top and the bottom and that would mess with my design. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put the decorations directly onto the mirror. And so we don't wanna put too much because we don't want to take away from the actual mirror. So I found this trim on Amazon. It's um, It has a sticky back, whereas I'm assuming you can iron it on if you want to, but that's not going to be the case here. It's pretty blingy and it looks like it'll be, you know, easy to work with. And it came in like five yards, which is really cool. And it was cheap, I think only like $16 or something. So I'll put the link on um, on the comments so that you can see how to get this. I am also going to use this trim. Got this from Hobby Lobby. And this is iron-on also. This has the iron-on thingy also. But again, we're going to glue it down. It's really pretty, really blingy, and it's, it's soft. So it's going to be easy to work with, and I won't have to worry about it, you know, being too heavy and falling off. So I'm going to put this trim, I think, along with this, something like that. We'll see. And you want to lay out your design on the mirror before you start to glue in case you want to make changes or you lay it out and it doesn't look the way you think you that it would look but you want to lay it out first and make sure that it's the look you want before you start gluing anything now the glue that i'm going to use to put all of this together is the e600 just bought a new pack, so I'm excited and I'm going to be gluing a whole bunch of stuff. So since I already know that I'm going to put this here, 
I mean, no matter what, this is going to be on here. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and cut my pieces for this. Kind of doesn't matter how they fit in in the corners because I am going to add something to that. So that will be covered. So I'm just going to cut it off right here at the edge. This is pretty easy to cut too. I didn't think it would be. So there. So now that's cut. Now I am going to take my glue and run a nice little line from top to bottom. Don't have to put too much because this trim is not very heavy. So I'm thinking it's not gonna try to come off there. I'm gonna start it here and run it to the end. I'm gonna put this right, just a little pressure. And I want it right at the very, very edge. So make sure you have a straight line because when you hang your picture up, your, your mirror up, don't want it to look off. The next thing I'm gonna put on is this bling here. So I've already started cutting my pieces. And I'm going to run it right on the inside because, I mean, though this outside is pretty nice and sparkly, I think it needs something else just to give it a little more fabulosity. I'm going to be very careful because you don't want to get uh, glue on the actual mirror so we have to so I'm going to do this all the way around I'm going to do this side here I'm going to do the outsides first and then put in the middle parts there you go that down again make sure it's right next to the other piece all the trim is done all the way around so I'm on this corner to show you what I'm going to do to each corner of it so I have these little Jimmy things here the little jewels um, I got these at Hobby Lobby they're in the wedding section and I thought that it would be nice to just put a few in the corner. And this would just be like for a base, not, this is not the bling I'm trying to get. So you'll see. So what I'm going to do, take all these off. And I'm going to use... Um, Mod Podge with this because it tends to work really well with um, these type of jewels. Here, oh, can you see it? Mod, wait a minute. Mod Podge. I have my camera too close. All right, anyway, I'll put the link on, um, on the comments so that you can see what I'm doing with it. So I have my Mod Podge, and Mod Podge comes with, oh, here's a little sign you can see. That's what it looks like. This is the brand, Mod Podge. And it all, you can also purchase these little um, spatulas. They're little spongy spatulas. See? See? It makes it easy to do. Now, because I'm using the Mod Podge, it is runny, and you can make 
quite a bit of a mess with it. So what I'm going to do with each end is put some saran wrap just on the corners just in case because I don't want any foolishness to happen here. Just lay that out. And then if it sticks, I can just rip that off. I'm going to just put some Mod Podge up in here. Make sure it's in all your little creases. I mean, you use the Saran Wrap for overflow, but you'd really rather not have any. And you want to put a good amount because these little jewel things are big. So... You want to make sure you got enough in there. So I want to make kind of a little triangle thing out of it. Yeah, like that. So I figure that should be enough. So then you're going to take your little jewels and you can just place them anywhere. The only bad part about it is they're a little hard to get a hold of and that is something that I thought I could remedy with using either pliers or tweezers or something like that but yeah nothing works so just gonna have to use the fingers Put them in there. So this is a good way to fix up corner areas that you don't want to be seen. So now I'm going to do this to each side. I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to move on to the other areas and come back and finish up here. I'm going to add just one more little touch of bling to it because I can't help myself. So for this one, I'm going to use E600 glue. And I bought some little Swarovski crystals and I set it right. Yes. There, it's this. It's a $6.99 at Hobby Lobby. It says it's 40 pieces, but does not look like it, but okay. I'm gonna take my glue, put some little dots strategically. And roll it around so it won't be too messy. I was gonna just put the dots and um, then place the jewels, but because it's clear, I kind of can't remember. All right, come on. I kind of can't remember where I put them. So I'm going to place the jewels right as I place the glue because otherwise I will lose what I did. And we don't want that. So here, that would be another one good there. So now you see with the little diamonds on top, gives it just a little more bling. It's not dry, the bottom's not dry. The Mod Podge is still white. But I just thought I'd go ahead and do one so we kind of see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other sides the other three sides and um, I might stick another one or two in there. It looks like it could use some more help. And then I'll show you the finished product. Here it is. I made two. Very pretty, very blingy. There are the two. And they're really pretty. So, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this and it gives you some inspiration 
to make something fabulous out of something not so fabulous in your home. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button to get notifications. And if you just like it, just hit like and share with your friends that may they may be able to benefit from it also.